First up, we have to get the engine ready to come out. This fan installation was about as haphazard as it comes. Those holes are slightly oblonged. Um, have no idea why. I could not, could not explain that. Nice short exhaust. See the beautiful welds. Instead of the little uh, glass pack there, I'm going to put an actual muffler. And I'm also going to do a catalytic converter because I, you know, want to be good for the environment. My neighborhood would appreciate it. The starter bolt decided it wanted to take most of the starter with it. So that's going to be interesting to uh, get off. Can you see in there? See that nice, nice color? It looks good. Chunky stuff and all the coolant passages. I'll always do this to your head gasket. Always make sure you bend it before you install it. The steering rack is moving an awful lot. That's just how it goes with this car. It's a little bit ridiculous. It kind of looks like it's just the bolts. Core support here. Not very supportive, a little salty. There were so many chunks of RTV on the cardboard when I pulled it out. I should do a tube front end. What do you think? Tube front end? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be really cool. Oh, yes, nice rust hole. Cringe, guys. Oh, it's so scary. Ready? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Frame rails. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Slower. Looks like a totally good supportive point. Uh, oh, yeah. Crunchy. Oh, yeah. Just folding it. Yep. That's not so bad. No. It's not as bad as I expected yeah. it to be. Well, it's sitting flat now, because it all folded over. Mm -hmm. Let's not talk about it. Let's just keep going. <laughs> it's just coolant everywhere. Oh, water yeah. everywhere. <laughs> no cool. not, yeah, not coolant. No coolant. Nice and greasy. You know, I should probably clean that before I put the other engine in. <clears throat> it's pretty tight. Yeah, 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 it's good stuff. Ah, yes. Transmission cross member. It's a dinky one. But it's nice and simple. I like that. Yeah, these, these nuts were just completely loose. It's kind of the overall theme of this build if you haven't already figured that one out. You see the bottom? You see how it's stationary? Yeah, there's no bushing in it. All the plastic is gone. Yeah, it's just missing. It's not there. For no reason. Just a, <laughs> it's just a nail. When we hammered a nail into the undercarriage of the car. Cause, you know, well, don't leave it there. <laughs> Draft shaft bolts were really hard to get to. They're they're jammed up there. Oh, okay, it's turning. <laughs> okay, I didn't even know it was turning. That's how tight it was. Yeah, nothing in this car again. Nothing in was tightened. Oh yeah, this is me. Uh, terrified that there might be a little bit of transmission fluid coming out and then this is me uh, realizing that there's no transmission fluid coming out 
Oh wait, there's nothing in there. But they said it would leak a little, but is it empty? Yeah, who knows? Trying to get the transmission off. I figured uh, it's probably strong enough to hold on to it. It doesn't seem to be that heavy. It's really jammed in there. Oh, there's a timing cover bolt missing too. It's just RTV coming out the hole. Why the hell? It's missing all the bolts on one side. You could at least space them out. That is the reverse sensor. On the bottom of the screen, the plug for the transmission. You can see it's a little bit rounded there. Brush your teeth morning, noon, and night. Rest in pieces forever. Get a clear picture of the engine bay here. It's uh, quite dirty. New bushings. You see the old ones are a little worn. For some reason, the kit he gave me only had one of the steering rack bushings in it, so I just replaced the one that was worse. Oops. No, no more of that. New newly refreshed engine. Getting it off the stand finally. Here we go, taking the rear main seal out. Uh, you probably shouldn't watch this if you actually want to replace the rear main seal. This is not how you do it, but uh, no, just just be a little more careful. But it does come out. Yeah. Success. The rear main seal. Yeah, just uh, keep that keep that seal straight. It should be fine. So heavy. Oh, this is the old flywheel because I didn't get a new one. Mm -hmm. Heavy thread locker on that. Okay. This is the kit that I got. I'm trying to figure out how the clutch lined up. For Too some big. reason, the pressure plate just it will not bolt up no matter what we do. Try to put on and struggle with the clutch for a while. Well, thirty dollar clutch. <laughs> this is what happened to the thirty dollar clutch. This uh, this friction plate. It's 
a little bigger than the surface on the flywheel. In the end, I decide to take the clutch and pressure plate from the 280ZX, not the original engine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Better. Uh, and uh, line that up, and it works fine. And there's still plenty of meat left in the clutch. I'd, I'd like to get a new clutch in there, of course, because it's out of the car and it's so easy to, to replace it. But you, you live and you learn. Lining up the transmission, which is not the easiest thing to do, but it gets in there. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go uh, trying to take the fill plug out. Good old heat and PB works 90% of the time. Right there, you can see it kind of just strip in the corners. Do this maybe five, six times before I give up and just take the reverse sensor out and fill it from there. It's still there. It's still there. Okay. It's still there. It seems like, it seems like the transmission was empty. Yeah, it was 100% was empty. If he drove this thing on that transmission, it might be time to replace it. <laughs> so, uh, um. as I'm feeling it, I don't realize that it's actually starting to spill out <laughs> of the back that of was the good, transmission. Son. Uh, hey. And uh, I rig up a little contraption here because <laughs> I don't have a transmission cap. So, some paper mm -hmm. towels and a, and a rubber glove do just fine. <laughs> There's really something special there. Yeah, lesson learned. Uh, keep an eye on the back of the transmission when you're filling it up. What's left of the transmission mount. It's fine. Well, transmission mount. trying to line up the engine mounts was an interesting time. Oh, it's not that bad, actually. Yeah, it's so thick, I can't... Well, okay, you didn't have to put that inside of the oil. I was trying not to, I swear. Uh-huh. <sighs> Did it? Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. They crushed my thumb. Mm -hmm. That was good. There it is. With the engine in. This was quite an accomplishment for me. I had, I had never taken an engine out and then installed another one. So this is it was pretty exciting. You know, it was one of the high moments. Of, of this build, but a lot more wires. Do a lot of work with uh, freaking wires, man.
broke, broke a couple of things in the, in the process of installing the engine, but I think it's a worthwhile sacrifice. So I'm going to stick this in my Z and uh, hopefully it works. It will probably run. We're going to find out. Here it is as it sits for now, uh, taking in the weather. He's going to be here for, for a few weeks because I'm going to be out of the country. I'm excited to get back to work on this and hear it running finally. Oh, that, would, that sounds like I'm going to get it running next episode, doesn't it? <laughs> maybe. I could maybe fire it up at 9 to 5. Maybe.